you, you don't want people to be able to live in peace, am I correct on that? No, I want to blow the hell out of it. Tell me why. Because it's fun, you don't like peace. Huh? You don't like peace. Okay, wait, let me ask you something. Uh, will you give me permission, where's your home? Will you give me permission to come on by your home anytime I want with a super loud car stereo? Yeah, get you one. Come on by. I'll back you up. Uh, okay, okay. Where, where are you at? What's your address? 1207 Tennessee Avenue, Red Haven, right next to the police chief. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what you're saying. In other words, you're you're in you're in good with the cops there, and so therefore you can do as you please, right? Yep, that's where it goes. All right, all right. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Uh, thank you for the. Thank you for the. Thank you for the, thank you for the school and the the the, uh, the crash course in real life. All right, now, wait a minute, let me ask you something, uh, 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 Rex, my friend. Don't hang up, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, uh, uh, Karen, is there anybody uh, that, that I can talk to besides Rex Ogburn? Um, I want to talk to somebody about a bicyclist is a very important public matter that got hit. Um, I was, I was re- Hold on, just one moment. Hello? 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 interesting that you can't get in touch with anybody anymore it's like they're scared of people that are only trying to get to the truth about a bicyclist who may be looking at over a hundred thousand dollars worth of bills right now who was riding his bicycle with front and back lights on his bicycle and even had a red jacket on top of that and so I guess he is basically treated, regarded as yesterday's garbage to be dumped in a dumpster or something like that. And when somebody tries to get to the truth of the matter, they don't even do independent investigations. All they do is just basically just rubber stamp whatever the cops have got to say. How you doing, uh, Justin? I want to talk to you about a very in public matter. Um, I'm wondering, uh, uh, Justin, what's your last name, please, may I ask? Uh, Butler. Okay, but, uh, 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 Justin Butler. Um, if I'm not correct, I'm, I'm calling the, uh, the bullet in Bay County, am I correct on that? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm wondering if you might do an independent investigation because I've already uh, tried calling uh, uh, WMBB uh, 
Channel 13. I've already tried calling WJHG of Channel 7. I've tried calling the Panama City News Herald, and they will not do an independent investigation about a bicyclist that was hit about two weeks ago. By the name of Trevor Lamar, Trevarius uh, Lamar Ward, um, that was riding uh, near, he was riding at the intersection of uh, uh, Baldwin Road and Highway 77. He was hit on his bike. He's got over a hundred thousand dollars of medical bills right now. I don't know how his family's going to pay for it. He had lights on his bicycle, front and back. I called him and talked to him uh, from Bay Medical yesterday. My God, I've never heard a more articulate, kind, considerate person who said, "Sir," so many times I couldn't believe it. Um. I called Channel 13. They basically rubber stamped whatever the cops said. Right. And it seems to me like bicyclists are basically third class citizens and are basically uh, uh, roadkill and, and convenient targets for motorists. And yet, what I find awfully interesting, um, I'm assuming uh, that maybe you might do a story on the facts or were there any traffic cameras around? Did this driver have previous wrecks before? Did he know the cops? Was he of a power of influence, this, uh, this SUV that hit him? Uh, was there a, by any chance, did the cops have a traffic crash checklist? This is just some of the things, okay? Uh, here's some other things, okay? What witnesses were at Baldwin Plaza who may have seen it? Independent witnesses. What witnesses were in traffic? Were there any dash cams there? Did the cops take photos of the actual wreck? Or, and, and, and did they take it with the actual showing the lights on there? Did they take the lights off? Um, also, uh, you know, another thing is, was the driver by any chance checked to see if he was, uh, you know, uh, had any drugs in his system? Or if he happened to, you know, uh, you know, had alcohol in his system. Who got first there? The cops? Or did the ambulance people get there first? And, you know, I called, I called, uh, you know, Channel 13, and their attitude is, well, first of all, they, they lawyered up and they said, well, you know, uh, you know, you, you, you got to get a lawyer. And then they said, well, you know, uh, uh, you know, we don't, you know, we don't second guess the cops. And my attitude has been, you ride a bicycle, you're automatically a target. And the cops are going to look for reasons to violate you and not the person who has more ability and control of their vehicle can see the bicycle a long time before. On top of that, um, you know, at uh, Baldwin Road, I believe it's in Highway 77, there is no obstacles there. There's no trees and everything. Everything's real clear. And uh, what really disgusted me was the cops were looking to see what direction this guy was going in. What the hell difference does it make? He's still an obstacle to, be, to, to go around and be avoided by the cars. Am I correct on that? Now, I'm wondering maybe, maybe uh, you know, the, the bullet, uh, you know, they may, might have the guts. Because what I basically found out is, whatever the cops say, they, they, we don't even need the, the uh, WMBB because all they are is rubber stampers. They don't do no independent investigation. Did you take any school in journalism or anything like that? Well, uh, I actually, I do more of the uh, office. Right, right, right. I'm the only one in the office at the moment. I mean, because, I, I, you know, my, my experience has been, you ride a bicycle, you get hit, the cops are going to look for a reason to violate you first. Let, even though a bicyclist, they gotta, they've got to, uh, you know, go around glass and trash that's thrown out all the time, they got to avoid the, the, uh, the, the possums and the cats and the, and the raccoons that are all over the road. 
you know, they got to avoid oil that might be in the road. They got to avoid, uh, you know, avoid, uh, you know, all kinds of road obstacles, hazards and everything like that. But automatically, the cops automatically will look for a reason to violate the, the bicyclist. So, uh, okay, so w what you're saying is, is, in other words, no disrespect to you, I wasted my time talking to you, you can't get this to the right people? Um, well, I'm, sir, I'm fairly new here. Um, I've never heard of our paper doing um, independent investigations. Um, however, if I could get uh, your contact information, I could uh, hand you off to one of my editors and see what they can do. Now, what, what I... Channel 7 will talk about somebody dressing up their stupid 